Hello, hello, hello. What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. Now today we're gonna be doing a after Christmas shopping haul and I already know what you're thinking. What else could you possibly need after Christmas? But here's the thing, I actually need two things. We're going on a tropical trip in two days and I wanted to wait until I opened all my gifts for Christmas as did Ty just to see what all we got from each other before we purchased anything for the trip. And we don't really have anything tropical to wear. Yeah, I mean, we have some stuff, but we just need to pick up some things. Also, I need a this video can be for y'all that got gift cards for Christmas. <gasps> so we're gonna let you know what to get. Also, I figured I'd wait because I figure stuff will be like on sale right now. But I just need a cute pair of sunglasses, a cute outfit, maybe some jewelry little accessories, stuff like that specifically for the trip, unless I find something great on sale, who knows? But that's kind of my plan today. That's why we're going out and about. Also, we've been stuck in the house for three days straight, so it's gonna feel good to get out and walk around a little bit. Today, we're going to the Santa Monica Promenade. It is an amazing mall right by the beach. It's outdoor, airy. So that's why I'm a big puffer on. I got this one last year for Christmas. Ty got it for me, it's so cute. That's what we're gonna be doing in today's video and towards the end i'll show you a couple of things that i got for christmas i was gonna do a what i got for christmas video but i always feel like like that doesn't feel good to do because <laughs> i don't want to feel like i'm like bragging and like make people feel not good about themselves but i'll show you a couple things that are like fun gifts that i really enjoy and think are great that you guys might think are great so i'll show you some of those towards the end of the video but stay tuned let's go to the mall okay, i've always wanted to try one of these chairs first stop go ahead. always wanted to try one of these chairs good one time at cabo we saw some drunk people in all <laughs> let me help you out <laughs> that is not a good example. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good experience. You try it. <laughs> try it. <laughs> so funny. Uh, ready? <laughs> it's it's more shocking than you think. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> it feels like you're falling. Yeah. But you never fall. fall. You never fall. <laughs> All right, do you have hand sanitizer? <laughs> right. Okay, that was a great starting trip for a shopping trip. Great start. Burn a little energy. Um, I'm gonna grab some food before we get started shopping. Cause your girl's hungry. First stop, sunglass hut. I think these are really cute. It's so hard to tell a mask, but you look good. Show you what I got. So I didn't get too much stuff. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna take you around the closet and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got for Christmas as well as part of the haul. Christmas just passed, so I really didn't need to buy that much stuff. I found some cute stuff, but like 
some stuff was like okay. So first I went to Sunglass Hut. I met the sweetest subscriber. Her name is Linda and she was very helpful. So I wanted to find some cute shades and then I got a pair of shades for Christmas as well. So I want to show you both. So these are actually from Revolve, but there are Ray-Bans and there's a hair. There it is. And they actually sell these pair in different colors at Sunglass Hut as well. So I figured I'll show them to you now, but I got these recently. So this is what they look like. I feel like, oh my God, it's so funny. They make the viewfinder completely black out so I can't like see myself. I feel like these are cute. Um, still a little bug eyed on me, but I definitely feel like I, these are some that I could like pull off. So yeah, these are by Ray-Ban. I'll link everything down below. And then I got this pair by the brand Vogue. I don't know if you can see that Vogue on them. And I was asking Linda at Sunglass Hut about them because I was like, I don't really know this brand, but these are cute. And she was like, it's Millie Bobby Brown. I think it's a collab with the brand. So I got these, which these are like more like a little cheeky, a little oval shape. I had some Ray-Bans like this, but the nose piece broke on them. I wonder if they're in here. Oh, they are. See, I had these Ray-Bans. I gotta take them to get them fixed, so obviously I kept them. But the nose piece literally broke off right here, so I can't wear them. And that's why I also needed some sunnies for the trip. Pretty cute. Okay, so that is Sunglass Haul. Then I stopped by Brandy Melville. This is one of Aaron's favorite stores, but I really like their basics. And I always find like really affordable basics in there. So let me show you what I got. First item, I got this really pretty khaki colored, it's like a taupey colored top. I love tops like this to wear under my shackets or button downs. And I like the color of this one a lot. This kind of reminds me of dupe for like the Yeezy clothing. A lot of the clothing is this color by Adidas Yeezy. So this was cute. I'll put a little of me trying it on so you can see how it looks on. Also the material of these are really, really thick. So I feel like they're made so nice. Then I just got some lounge shorts. Again, these like muted neutral colors are so popular. They're definitely gonna be another hot hitting product for 2022. So, and I personally love it because pieces like this are basics and they're so easy to pair. But I love these lounge shorts to wear around. They're very comfy. The band's not too thick. And best of all, they have pockets. So I picked up a pair of these, too cute. And we're not done yet. I got a scarf because we're going somewhere snowy as well. So I wanted a colored scarf. So this one's navy and it is so big. I'm gonna fold it in half and like have a moment with it. But I thought it was so cute and warm and cozy. So I wonder how much this was. It didn't have a tag on it. It does have a tag on it. Um, this was 20 bucks, so not bad. And then I got a few more things. I got this plain tank top. I have this in a lighter color and I wear it all the time. So I was like, let me get this. This is $16. And I love the emerald green. Another great basic that I picked up from there. And then I got this t-shirt. This was 18 bucks. And I thought it would be cute. Maybe more so in the summer or maybe on my tropical trip. But I thought it'd be cute with like some black sweatpants and some converses. That would be a cute outfit. And then I got just these lounge shorts. Girl, I love lounge shorts. These were 25 and they're like sweat shorts cut off. And they're a good basic. I like the color, just like a vintage wash black. And they have the raw cut off edge. Super cute. So again, a lot of lounge wear and basics I like to find at Brandy. I also got two pieces of jewelry. They always have pretty affordable little jewelry and you guys know how much I love like rings and accessories and jewelry. So I thought it'd be cute to layer these two necklaces on my trip, like with my swimsuit or whatever outfit I'm wearing, I don't know. Like I got these two, they're like choker kind of necklaces. And I thought it'd be cute to layer these. So these were 14 and the pearl one was 10. So I picked these up. I can't help myself, their jewelry section, they have like so much and it's always pretty darn affordable, so. Urban Outfitters, most of this stuff, is stuff that Ty got, but I got two things. Okay, this is interesting for me because I got these pair of pants. I thought they were so pretty, but they were from the men's section and which whatever, unisex, you know. Um, and they were like sleepy pants, but I was like, wait a minute, these are so cute to wear as like, like, because we're gonna do a boat one day and I was like, these would be cute with a swimsuit underneath them. So I picked them up in a size small 
Um, and they were 28. There they are. So I thought 20 bucks, not bad for these adorable pants. And they're kind of like that soft, silky, like beach wear material. So I was like, lounge pants, men's pajama pants, yacht wear. It's all the same. So I picked these up and I think they're gonna be cute. Cause imagine if I did like a white bikini with the, these pants for the statement piece. So cute, right? So I'll try those on with like a little top and we'll see how they look, but I think they're gonna work. And here are two pieces that were for Christmas that I got from Urban Outfitters as well. I figured I'd show you and try mine because they're also really cute. Um, this was 29 and I got it in a medium. This is just like a little sparkly backless top. Would be really cute for like New Year's or something like that. So I picked it up. They had it in gold there, which I was like, dang, that gold's cute. But I figured this one wouldn't be see-through because the material seems a little thin. So love that. And then Ty picked me out these corduroy high-rise baggy pants. These were 69 and I picked up a size, or he got me a size 26, which I think is my size in these. Um, and they look so cute. They're like a corduroy ribbed material and they're pretty straight legged. They're supposed to be baggy style. So I'm gonna try these on for you guys, but girl, I think they're gonna be real cute. And uh, we'll see, we'll see how they look. I also went to Nordstrom and I didn't really see anything there because I was specifically obviously looking for more things like sandals and beachwear, which not the time to shop for that, but they, they did have cute stuff. It was just like all wintery. So I was like, mm. And the rest of the stuff is ties that he picked out from there. And then um, PacSun, I really wanted this Essentials hoodie and they had it there. So he grabbed it. So I'm just gonna show it to you, but let's look up in PacSun. That's the logo. I actually have this in like the crew neck or whatever. It's not a crew neck, it's a turtle. It's a mock turtleneck, but this is cute. It's like an oversized hoodie. Adorable. So he got that. And then I'm gonna show you guys a few other things that I got for Christmas. First off, the shoes I'm wearing today. Ty picked these out for me for Christmas. Are these not, oh, I got them dirty, but are these not the cutest New Balances ever? I have them in gray and I wear them 24 seven. I actually picked up Erin the gray pair for Christmas because like every other day she comes in here, she's like, can I wear your gray New Balances? And I'm like, yes, because you got some under the Christmas tree. Um, but I, so I got her some, but Ty surprised me with these and these are so cute. They still have some sticker inside of them, but I'm obsessed. I think he got these off the goat. Um, G-O-A-T, they sell like sneakers that are hard to find. If you're looking for some, I'll try to find them and link them. But oh my gosh, so cute and very comfortable. Of course, whenever I was in like junior high school, these are popular. So I'm happy they made their way back, ma'am. So I got me this Le Labo Discovery set. It has three of their more popular scents, but they're hand soaps. He knows I love this brand. And they smell so good. So I'm gonna put these out in the bathroom and I think they're so cute. So, so cute. So got that. And then Ty actually spoiled me with some fragrances. So this one is Kindles. It's called Olive and it smells bomb. Love it. And then he got me the set of the minis from KKW Fragrance, the nude minis. So in my opinion, they all smell good but this is the best one by far. So this one is called Nude Soleil, and it is delicious, this is what I'm wearing today. So yeah, and he got me the little kit. How cute are these? I love the bottles. Um, nude Silk. This one's called Nude Suede, very pretty. And then this one is Nude Sand, but this one's my favorite. Love those. My other perfume tray, just, oop, not that one to share with you. This is one I picked myself up recently. I also gave this one as a gift to some people for Christmas because people really appreciate a yummy scent. I know they're really personable, but these are pretty luxe. So every time I get someone a Lay Labo gift, they're like, oh, yes, bitch, when they see the package. So they seem to be pretty happy with it, but this is a new one I'm loving from them. Another 13, it smells divine. Definitely check it out if you are into their fragrances. Um, this is the one I wear the most. Everyone knows about this one nowadays, but yeah, these are like some of my faves. And then over here's my New Year's outfit, so ignore that, but I just wanted to show y'all this bag. How beautiful is this? Got it at Zara. They have it in a bunch of different colors. And 
so cute. I thought it'd be a cute little clutch to take on my trip and you can use it as a wristlet. So cute. Or a crossbody because it has the gold chain that will go across your waist. Isn't that pretty in the sun? I'm like obsessed with it. I've like been dangling it around and I'm like, oh, so cute. I think it was around 50 bucks. So not too bad for a full sequined bag and it feels good quality. Okay, and I have to just, I just have to show y'all this bag because y'all, I can't get past it. If you could see it in real life, you would be gagging in the dark, especially because it sparkles like no bag I've ever had in my life. Ty got me this for Christmas and it's so beautiful. It'll be even prettier whenever it's filled with stuff so it's not so flat, but this is the brand. I found it on Instagram. I know this brand though before I already have one of their bags I got from the Kardashian closet, but it's called Gia, I think it's called. Definitely not pronouncing that right, but this is the bag. I'll try to link it. It's so nice, guys. I'm obsessed. The sparkle is like not like just your typical rhinestone bag. I'm talking, do you see this? when I'm barely moving it. The bag, like whenever you just have it, it just sparkles on its own. It's like insane. So let's fill it full of something and see what it looks like full because this is not doing it justice. Alrighty, I feel like that like helps it flatten out a little bit. I just put some duster bags in it, but like I've been doing this since I've opened it. I, I'm not gonna get past this bag ever. I want like 50 of these. I don't know what my issue is. I want it like in every color, like, oh my God. Okay, a couple other things Ty got me. He knows I love this brand A Soap, so he got me their hand cream, hand balm, and I can't wait to try this out. I love a good hand balm, especially as much as I wash my hands these days. It's like, my hands are so dry. So I thought this was super cute. And then I got some earrings from Free People. Erin got these for me. She knows I love a good like ritzy um, rhinestone sparkly earring. I love the sparkles guys. So she got me these from Free People and I just think they are so cute. I don't see a brand on them, but I'll try to find them. But how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, like your hair back and these being the moment. I'm obsessed. And that is about it for this haul video guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I hope you enjoyed coming around shopping with me a little bit. And most of all, I hope you have a fabulous new year. Um, again, I talk a little bit about some of my goals for my new year in my makeup clean out video. So if you're interested in hearing that, I have some pretty good goals. I think I have some, I'm like, do I have good goals? I think I have some pretty good goals for 2022. Um, and I try to think, what were the things in 2021 that made me suffer, made me not happy, made me you know, frustrated, want to change? And then let's work on those so we're not repeating history in 2022. So that's kind of like how I came up with a lot of my goals for 2022. So it worked for me. But anyways, I am sending you guys all the love, good vibes. It's going to be a good year. I can feel it. It's going to be a good year for us. And with that, I love you guys. Be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.